Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. It's a good point, well, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, knock it. it's why the Premier League is the best league in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of the best league and the best team in the world, yeah. Arsenal. I don't, I, I, know, I don't want to keep getting excited because I'm sort people are sick and deaf, but we are winning the league. <laughs> <laughs> Back yourself, mate. Go on. I love it. Arsenal, Talk your shit. Arsenal and Man City will fight out for the league this At year. At the moment, that's what's happening. Liverpool could be in with a scrap. Talk your shit, but if we, I want an exciting... I'm fed up of Liverpool, Man City, or just City just running away of the league each year. I think, Boring. That's, I think that second give one me, is more likely. Give season. me Arsenal... <laughs> fighting for the title yeah, Pep, everyone would back it Pep versus his understudy yeah. oh to the God. end oh. would that if, if Arteta managed to put a title race against oh, yeah, City if, if, we fin- if we finish second in the Premier League give him everything no, give, him the, is, give him the cronky war chest man let that, him go on holiday to wherever the fuck Arsenal, he wants Arsenal, Arsenal, finish, Arsenal finish second yeah. do you look at Pep and go oh shit he could be the greatest manager of all time He's coached someone else to to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Arteta. I thought you were about Arteta. Yeah. Arteta's like molded. Oh, uh, Pep's molded Arteta into being. And Pep. Arteta has gone very, very similar to everything Pep does. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way he plays. Yeah. He, this the the squad he's building. The weird craziness. Yeah, I think the brain and the heart. I, I think that Pep Pep will always struggle to get called the best ever because people are obsessed with the fact he spent money, even though. Sir Alex Ferguson broke the transfer record nearly every fucking season, you, but yeah. people forget about that. Do you, do you not think he, that changed, you... he changed? He changed. Ferguson adapted to three different generations of football. That's fucking. He did long yeah. yeah. You've got remember like, Pep's Barcelona team. They are the best of all time. Yeah, Pep, Pep's the best coach of all time. Yeah. I think that's undoubtedly. He's, he's the best system producer. Yeah, and that, do you know, like every team that he's gone to, kind of you could emulate well, with the next. I'd argue one. prime for prime. I'd stick Mourinho up there. Really? In his prime. Marie, Mourinho, oh, sorry, when he okay. first okay. came to Mourinho, Chelsea yeah. and that, he wiped the floor with Fergie. Hmm. Yeah. Poor Tozo. Well, he, he, he was literally like the... And everywhere he's gone, he's produced. He, I mean, he, he, he says it himself, doesn't he? He said, finishing second with United is a great... Chris, and now <laughs> he's he's right. Right. Everyone's like, he's oh right. shit. He's they right. actually want to be in truthful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Arsenal will beat Leicester 4-2. Gabriel Jesus, oh my God. Two goals, two you look, assists. you look really good, man. Honestly, Arsenal. I, I know I, every time I see you, I come in and go, Arsenal, the best team in the world. <laughs> yeah. I think it's my fault they're getting so gassed. This, um, this is the Gabby Jesus that came straight out of the favelas, right? Yeah, he's hungry. His first he goal, is, he is oh, electric, God, joke, man. Joke, but he, he, even when he could almost got his hat, you know, when he turned Johnny Evans and yeah. the yeah, defender yeah. came in last minute. Yeah, the strength. Yeah, to hold he's off. Mate, he's, he's, he, I oh. can't believe how much of a target man he can choose to be if he mm. wants to as well yeah. he's got he's got the whole game yeah. and obviously Pep saw that originally but I mean it's, I don't know I think what I love about Jesus is every, pretty much everyone's gassed up the signing and gone he's going to be oh he's brilliant he's going to be this and he's come in and actually <laughs> done it straight <laughs> away even pre, right? pre-season yeah. like it just shows you, Man City shows you how good Man City is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's even after it's taken best yeah, players. Yeah. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man City. But this is it. I'm like, hey, <laughs> I'll, I'll remember people slating Jesus. I don't want people to suddenly start licking his ass because yeah. he used to get slated he when did. he was at City. And I was like, I don't get how you can't rate him. He's not that clinical, but oh God, I love him. It's got, I think it also shows how good City are like, in City, you could be amazing and just seem average because everyone else is amazing. Whereas you come to Arsenal and you're just like, whoa. And how good does that make the KDB? The fact he's a yeah. main man. Yeah. Oh, just... well, you see it with Jack Grealish, right? Is it, I mean, Struggled. Is, it, yeah. is a prime example of just how incredible he was at Villa mm. and put basically the team on his back for quite a while. Goes into City and... But maybe you, you the... put what? Maybe put him fifth, sixth player most games as, as the like, best? Yeah, yeah, at best, really. And I love him. That's my boy. But yeah. I think maybe it's helped Jesus being the man as well. The, yeah. That's what I love about him. It's, some people would shirk at that. It's, uh, my, my whole argument with like Sancho. Okay, he, he's all right at Dortmund when he's got Haaland and that, but he's come to United and it's like, go on then, be the main man. And he yeah. shirk I, I actually bit. see it similar as Lukaku. When Lukaku's the man... He likes being the he man, doesn't he? Yeah. Man, and he bags, yeah. He scored a minute into, into Milan. At the weekend, but when he was at Chelsea, he wasn't really the man. Like I said, he's at United, than he wasn't really the man. Everton, he was the man. Bags. Yeah, that's true. That's a good it, point. Just, 
Ball you do know ball. I do know ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, you, you know what I'm liking about Arsenal at the moment, sorry, is we even got Xhaka. The fans love him again. He's, a he's playing well. Revived number he's eight. He's literally gone he? from that to that. Yeah, yeah. literally. <laughs> yeah. The defence looking strong. I know, obviously, Saliba scored an own goal, but... He's so matter. good, though. Yeah, he's quality. It doesn't matter, does it? Ramsdale? I love him. Another one, I love him. I, and the, I, <laughs> Any more? I genuinely <laughs> used to think Ramsdale was part of money laundering. I was, <laughs> I'm, and this is hand, oh, that is outrageous and this is, this is hand on heart not <laughs> for um, my mum's life I was like and he's an Albion fan as well so I like, I like him when he went from like Bournemouth to, and I was watching him I was like this guy is so bad I was like this it has to be money laundering it was so, back to back relegations really, yeah, yeah but it's not even like, and I just watched him and I was like I don't get it so when he went to Arsenal I was like that's confirmed he's, he's running <laughs> <laughs> he's running one of them sweet, sweet shops yeah. in Oxford Street I was like no way but then he has completely changed my mind I just think his distribution is a joke yeah. like, he's up there with like Edison for me distribution yeah. wise even his shop slotting ability is insane and it's another thing like yeah he does make a few camera saves but he's still saving them and <laughs> he's a like, big shit house yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's like Ben Ben's always backed him for a long while he's, he's always said he's a proper keeper who's Ben? yeah well, ben, who's Ben? Ben Foster oh, your, oh. your boy <laughs> Your man. Only if you stop wearing them Arsenal shirts, Ben. <laughs> That's probably why. That's because they're quite I'll, I'll, I will let you off. Yeah. I know that'll mean a lot to you. Do, do you think uh, Jesus can... Does he have a shout for Golden Boot? If yeah, he definitely has a shout. 100%. Definitely. The, the amount of chance, chances that Arsenal create just on that basis alone, if he stays fit, then absolutely. Erdegaard firing as captain. Oh, my God. He's silky, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Very oh, silky. Mate, every touch he takes is like... It's like a step over and then he receives the ball mm. or it's like with the base I'm, really, of his I'm, foot and I'm like, so intrigued about Arsenal United. Like if Arsenal Arsenal should go there and turn them over. Yeah. It's basically how be. we're looking. But we this is a test because pre, again, previous years we'd have lost to Palace, we'd lost to Leicester. We would or or we'd be playing well, we'd go against United and we'll lose five 0 Yeah. You if we gonna... beat United this time, I'm like, this is when I actually can actually start to like believe like, oh, we actually are going to I, I, I don't now. see it happening because you what have is... players like Zinchenko and Jesus, who are serial winners, but yeah. they 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 play to win games. But this is what and that's, I'm saying. That that ethos spreads throughout a dressing room very fast. But this mm. is what I'm saying. I'm saying if we beat United and comfortably, I'm thinking then I can start to actually believe like, oh my god, we actually are this new club. I, I don't, think, I don't that, think that no. that, that, that shouldn't be the goal. Like, that shouldn't I'm, be the I, as an Arsenal fan, I'm so used to you losing those games yeah. you're expected to win. I'd be more. I, I'd be more impressed with the opening day than I would if you went to United yeah. and pumped them. Yeah. That was a proper result, a, a place hard to go, crowd on your back. They had a spell in the second half as well, when usually you fold. Yeah. I'd, if you're going to beat United 3 0, I'd go, yeah, rightfully but so. I'm used to last season when we lose three in a row against like Brighton, Palace, Brentford, or whoever it was. You're a different team, Chelsea, though. United. You're a different team. But this is. This, this, You've got to remember that at that point. Hard we had, to get used to, though, at that it? point, we had no party, no Tierney. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get used to. Like, we're used to Arsenal. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? They let you that way. See well. how we get they on do, yeah, at the end do. of the season. I'm See intrigued. If, if it ca if it continues and we get over the hurdles that eventually will come, mm. then you know what? Going forwards, it's going to be a good good few few years. Well, obviously, ahead. Arsenal all or nothing is out. Have you been up to date? Well, I I've watched it. it. I've watched it as uh, well Did as you much as you can. I want to touch on the Abamyang stuff because I thought it was well, very an honest. Well, as honest as you just probably let on, but it was a quite an interesting insight into it. You know, reporting back for late reporting back a day late as captain being made to train on his own. Did Arteta force him out, do you think? Or do you think it was Aubameyang's own making? A bit of both, I think. I don't think it's necessarily Arteta's final say anyway, is it? There's a, there's a whole No, well, on the show it looks like it What I've was. heard is, I think Edu said he didn't want him to go. Yeah, Edu was like, yeah. And Arteta yeah. was like, no. And they backed they backed Arteta and let him do what he wanted to do. Because I think he just thought he was maybe a bit of a bad egg. Or not even a bad egg. Maybe he just thought, I'm not letting this slide. If, if he does yeah. it, yeah, then the, the rest, bad, isn't it? yeah. But I, I think, no, you're, you're I right. Ed, Edu, Edu did at first say, I want to keep him because obviously you're paying this much money or whatever. Yeah. You need to keep him. Then he was like, when Arteta said no he needs yeah. to go Eddie was like I can't tell the manager what to do but that's yeah. good Like yeah. that's what should be happening at United yeah. yeah. if Ten Hag has got these rules or whatever back him and let him implement them don't undermine him or uh, that's, that, I wouldn't be surprised if he walked Ten Hag I feel like he's the type to actually do yeah, that because I, I think he's been promised a lot of things that haven't happened um, whereas Arsenal, that's how that's how you that's how you back a manager. All the shit he had as well last year, Arteta, back him, man, yeah, and yeah. it's worked. Well, even even 
on the deadline day. Yeah, literally. With They're Aubameyang. Stressing to get rid of Edu him. Edu found out on deadline day, but instead of at training, Aubameyang was in Barcelona. He yeah. goes, what? He's already <laughs> in, in there. Barcelona. He's already there. And then, and then the agent called up yeah. and he goes, yeah, his family's here. He's off to see his family. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> the then, audacity. Didn't, didn't they get it in like a couple minutes they before? They got it in a minute before yeah, the deadline yeah, in the end. Oh my god! A Mate, minute. It's a good yeah. essay. It looks so stressful. Yeah, I, I, need really to I haven't watched to any of it. So oh, I yeah. would have been stuck. I with need him. to watch it. And, oh, right, and he wouldn't have played him. They were just losing. They say so. The fact that we got rid of him, he, he, I actually Batman was so good for us, and he was so good. Mm. He won Golden Boot. Yeah, FA Cups. Yeah, he was yeah. actually really good for us. He was definitely declining though. He was, the and week. it was a good. And Arteta made the right decision, and you can tell that. You, if you look now, since we got rid of him, even when Laka prospered. Inketia has obviously done amazing. Got rid of Laka, he had to go towards yeah, the end of his career. Yeah. He's done a good servant. But since then, getting rid of Aubameyang, we've shone. Mm -hmm. Maybe Ronaldo does need to go. So Ronaldo, Man United can shine. Well, I'll just keep getting called a hater and an agenda. I've said it from day dot. It was a terrible <laughs> signing. He makes them worse. I just think he does. I just think... I, again, I don't know him and he has got this amazing winning mentality. I don't think he's good around players who aren't on his level and yeah, stuff. Yeah. I think... I, I just don't think he is. And United finished second the year before without him. Bruno scored 18 goals in the Premier League. Ronaldo comes in. What did he get? Two, three goals last year, Bruno. Clearly not as good with Ronaldo. It's, I don't think he improves teams. That's why elite teams in Europe don't want him. They've been offered him and they don't want him. But do you know what I think Bruno should have... If you put Ronaldo in with Bruno, in, if you look at on paper, you think, wow, Bruno's going to be able to assist so many goals. Like KDB and Haaland. They're working. Yeah. Different personalities. Yeah. Different. I think they both like to be the man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas Cade, I think Haaland and De Bruyne, Haaland wouldn't have signed for City thinking it's going to be all about me. Mm. He's not stupid. He knows that's not that, how they work. That kind of is tailoring it a little bit to that though. But no, I don't think, no, I, I think he, but I I think also, he also knows that if you want to get the best out of Haaland, we need to get a mixture of both. Yeah. And I think his goal against... Well, thinking on the first day with KDB's assist uh -huh. was prime example of that. I, I also think that it's, um, y you never can develop an ego under Pep. He doesn't like, let it happen. Yeah, mm. like you are part of the system that I've created. Mm. You get goals in it, congratulations for you, but the team comes first. Look at Mahrez. Like, if you put him in out of a team, oh my God, his ego will go through the roof, I feel like. <laughs> but he's kept well, him at bay. Even Thierry Henry, did you see that uh, interview that he spoke about? What, a um, Yeah, when... Um, because Pep was so adamant on controlling the game via a system rather than allowing people to be too creative. When Henri was playing uh, left wing, on, on one of the occasions he was playing for Barca, he went across the right wing to try and drag a defender away. Um, and at half time, Pep was like, why are you leaving your position? Didn't mate? they score though? I think yeah, yeah he scored. I'm pretty sure scored he scored. And he still went mad. Yeah, yeah. And then he took him off. Yeah. He was like, I, literally, I, I went from left wing to right wing and I was axed at half time. Basically saying that, you do no that to what, you, you do that that's to what I'm saying. Like, that, well, no matter what you do, that. not a single person ever comes before. I think the only person he let slide Messi. was Messi, yeah, yeah, because he's just because he's Messi. The phenomenon, yeah, it's pretty mad, that, isn't it? I don't no. think you get that. You but know. that's 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 Pep. That's his standard. That's yeah. that's yeah. why if you, if you don't survive under Pep, you're not in my. You can't be that elite, elite level mentality at least. Because you've got to. If you can survive, you're one hell of a player. Exactly. Hence the likes of Zinchenko. You don't play that many games for City mm. consistently if you're not mm. a fucking good if, player. Uh, if you were to pick one club to be on the next All or Nothing, who would you go for? United. Oh, yeah. Has to be. What about the ones that are rumoured? Newcastle I, United. Oh, oh, that's, a good, that's another good one. Yeah, rumored. but I, I probably want it next year. Yeah. I think maybe. it depends what you're in. For. I mean, I love just seeing. Just shit it. The I fan. feel like if they went for United, they would just like block all the cameras because that's the problem with United because it's such a commercial. Yeah, realistically, all or nothing's a good. It's, it's got to benefit the club as well, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. I do not think that would benefit United. <laughs> I do not. Yeah. I don't no care way. how much it's, money it it's gets. It's the seasons where it's nothing. Even you, 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 you have shit viewing. Barca would be good. But I, I could see it happening because they need the money. Yeah, true. Yeah, actually, yeah. Do you know that what I mean? We need, they one. need it in writing. We can show anything. Every, anything and <laughs> everything. Pay us 100 yeah. mil. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Jesus. go. We'll show you the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> show you the toilet. There's just Laporte in the back going, what else can we sell? <laughs> it's just PK taking another pay cut. 
<laughs> yeah, they reckon he's, he's earning like nothing. Yeah, but like close to nothing. A peanuts, a week. Mate, yeah. like Danny what, Alves, there was, was what's it? peanuts? So like fifty grand. A week. <laughs> Probably. Do you know 50, what I mean? yeah, Danny Alves is on a, uh, a euro a week. Oh, he's, yeah, I did hear yeah, he's basically paying. Yeah. But he's not even paying tax on that. Isn't he on? Isn't he on um, an appearance fee though? Does he even? Have, he's not even at Barcelona anymore, is he? So he he's gone back to Brazil, wasn't he? Or when he was there, I'm not sure. I think so. Well, even you should Wilshire know. Was he there. works at Spotify now. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the <laughs> owner. <laughs> well, Wilshire was unpaid to play a lot of the time. For Barca? No, for whatever <laughs> whatever club he went to. In I mean, Norway, that's so, valid, I mean. to be fair. He's got, oh, cho- such a sad he's got chocolate knees, isn't he? I feel so <laughs> sorry. Knees. He's now under 18 coach. I bet he's such a good at coach. Arsenal? Yeah, I bet, he, I bet you Jack Wilshere's an unbelievable coach. Do you reckon? He, reads, he played the game in such a good, in, in unreal way. Maybe no, but he that's, reads it so well. But he plays, played at such a natural level, I thought. I yeah. think a lot of what he did just come natural to him. I don't yeah. think he's... And a lot of those players don't translate to brilliant coaches because to them, they're like, what the fuck? Like, Glenn Odder was a big one. People used to say... He, he was better than the players he was coaching. He got frustrated and couldn't. Do you remember that? Well, Zidane at Real Madrid. <laughs> a lot of the players would like. And Roy Hodgson at Watford. You see him do the through ball. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, imagine. Get, sorry, imagine like Zidane joins in at training. Like, what? How you? You're not. He, oh, well. He's going to be the best player there. Yeah. What <laughs> with his son as well? <laughs> with Enzo. Yeah. But he's a bit like Gerard and Lampard at the minute. I don't think they're tactical geniuses. No. I think they're just, I would they get respect from anyway. players and I think it's pretty basic what they say and they've probably got good coaches around them, but I doubt they'd be really like, I don't think they'd be like an Arteta. Mm. Mm. 